Being stylish and being fashionable are two entirely different things. You can easily buy your way into being fashionable. Style, I think, is in your DNA, but it implies original. Iris Apfel, the legendary textile expert, interior designer, and fashion celebrity known for her eccentric style, has sadly passed away at the age of 102. Just a day before her passing, Apple's Instagram account joyfully announced that Leap Day marked her 102 and a half birthday, showcasing her unique sense of humor and zest for life. Her commercial agent, Lori Sale, confirmed the news of her death, describing Apple as extraordinary. The cause of her passing has not been disclosed. The announcement was also made on her verified Instagram page, which had previously celebrated her half birthday. Born on August 29, 1921, Apple became famous for her irreverent and eye-catching outfits, effortlessly combining haute couture with oversized costume jewelry. A typical Apple ensemble might feature a feather boa paired with chunky beads, bangles, and a jacket adorned with Native American beadwork. With her iconic big round black-rimmed glasses, bright red lipstick, and short white hair, she stood out at every fashion show she attended, leaving a lasting impression on all who encountered her. Apple's unique style became the subject of museum exhibits and a documentary film titled Iris, directed by Albert Mayles. I'm not pretty, and I'll never be pretty, but it doesn't matter, she once said. I have something much better. I have style. In her later years, Apple gained a massive following on social media, amassing nearly 3 million followers on Instagram. Her profile bio perfectly captured her philosophy, more is more and less is a bore. On TikTok, she shared her wisdom on fashion and style, attracting 215,000 followers and promoting her recent collaborations. In one of her TikTok videos, she shared, being stylish and being fashionable are two entirely different things. You can easily buy your way into being fashionable. Style, I think, is in your DNA. It implies originality and courage. Apple never believed in retirement, stating, I think retiring at any age is a fate worse than death. Just because a number comes up doesn't mean you have to stop. Lori Sale, her commercial agent, expressed her deep admiration for Apple, saying, Working alongside her was the honor of a lifetime. I will miss her daily calls, always greeted with the familiar question, What have you got for me today? Testament to her insatiable desire to work, she was a visionary in every sense of the word. She saw the world through a unique lens, one adorned with giant, distinctive spectacles that sat atop her nose. Beyond her fashion prowess, Apple was an expert in textiles and antique fabrics. Together with her husband, Carl, she owned a textile manufacturing company called Old World Weavers, specializing in restoration work. They even worked on projects at the White House under six different U.S. presidents. Apple's clientele included renowned names like Estee Lauder and Greta Garbo. In 2005, Apple's fame skyrocketed when the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute in New York City hosted an exhibition dedicated to her called Rara Avis, meaning rare bird in Latin. The museum described her style as both witty and exuberantly idiosyncratic. Apple's originality shone through her ability to effortlessly mix high-end fashion with flea market finds, pairing 19th century ecclesiastical vestments with Dolce and Gabbana lizard trousers. Her layered combinations defied aesthetic conventions and represented a boldly graphic modernity, even at their most extreme and Baroque. The Peabody Essex Museum in Salem, Massachusetts was one of several museums across the country that showcased a traveling version of the exhibition. Apple later generously donated hundreds of pieces, including couture gowns, to the Peabody, helping them build what she called a fabulous fashion collection. Additionally, the Museum of Fashion and Lifestyle near Apple's winter home in Palm Beach, Florida, plans to dedicate a gallery to displaying items from her remarkable collection. Apple's journey began in New York City, where she was born to Samuel and Sadie Barrel. Her mother owned a boutique, which undoubtedly influenced her love for fashion and unique style. In her later years, Apple continued to make waves in the fashion industry, appearing in advertisements for brands like Mac Cosmetics and Kate Spade. She also collaborated with various companies, designing accessories and jewelry for Home Shopping Network, creating a sold-out-in-minutes collection with H&M, 
and launching a makeup line with Ciate London. Additionally, she partnered with Zenny to release an eyeglass collection and joined forces with Ruggable to create stunning floor coverings. In a 2017 interview with the Associated Press at the age of 95, Apple shared her admiration for contemporary designers such as Ralph Rucci, Isabel Toledo, and Naeem Khan. However, she emphasized the importance of individuality, stating, everybody should find her own way. I'm a great one for individuality. I don't like trends. If you get to learn who you are and what you look like and what you can handle, you'll know what to do. Apple affectionately referred to herself as the accidental icon, a title that also became the name of her 2018 book. Filled with her personal mementos and style musings, the book serves as a testament to her enduring influence. From Barbie dolls in her likeness to t-shirts, glasses, artwork, and dolls, tributes to Apple's unique style are abundant. Apple's husband, Carl, predeceased her, and the couple did not have any children. May Iris Apple's legacy continue to inspire generations to embrace their individuality and fearlessly express themselves through fashion and style. Stay up to date with the latest news by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Don't miss out on our newest videos and updates. Let's stay connected and informed together. Remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. See you there.